Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking you're not normally sat there and you're absolutely right, today is a little bit different. Hello and welcome to the Grape Explorer where we celebrate the world of wine. On this channel we do wine education, product reviews and lots of tastings, so if you're interested in wine, consider subscribing. Yes, I am not sat behind my usual table with a very drab background. Instead, I'm on my holidays and I've come to southern Spain for a few days to get away from it all and get a bit of sunshine. And being here in southern Spain is a fantastic opportunity for me to get out into some of the local vineyards, which is exactly what I did today. Now the vineyards out here, they grow Muscat de Alexandria, locally known as Moscatel. Uh, Muscat de Alexandria is um, particularly suited to the arid climate down here in southern Spain, uh, where we enjoy a Mediterranean climate. The vines are low-trained bush vines, uh, which of course are needed to protect the grapes from the sun. Uh, as you can imagine, very hot in this part of the world, and therefore the grapes need to be able to grow in some shadow. Now, as you can expect as well, with that heat comes particular ripening of the berries. And that means that the grapes are particularly sweet uh, when it comes to harvest, and through fermentation they retain a lot of that sweetness as well. So Muscat of Alexandria uh, is a sweet wine, which originated in Egypt, but has become particularly popular in these dry, arid conditions of southern Spain. So what I've done today is I've managed to go out and find myself what is, I would consider almost a party selection of wines uh, and I'm going to pick out the Moscatel uh, specifically uh, and go through a tasting of that one today. So here we are with our uh, Moscatel, our Muscat of Alexandria in the glass. You know, looking at this, um, this is a kind of pale brown in colour. Um, it's, it's amber bordering on brown. Uh, intensity of aromas? Wow, intensity aromas are pronounced. They're really jumping out of the glass. Admittedly, I gave it a little bit of a swirl beforehand, but these are really jumping out of the glass. And the thing that's jumping out for me is the taste of nuts. It's a really roasted nut aroma with this particular one. You also get an aroma of grapes as well. Muscat is well known for having a, an aroma of grapes. Yeah, it's got a real toasted feel about it. You can clearly tell that it's grown in a warm climate. Uh, which this is of course. So it's honey, it's toasted nuts, it's got all of these things going on. So on the palate, wine is incredibly sweet, almost bordering on luscious actually. Incredibly sweet, but plenty of fruit on the palate. Lots of fruit on the palate, so quite different to the nose where it was honey, it was nuts. I didn't really get any fruit character, a little bit of grape perhaps, but tasting this one, yeah this one really tastes like honey, like grapes, it's got a wonderful balance, it's got lovely acidity, really making my mouth water as well. And so all around really enjoyable. Alcohol for me is low, body is medium, length is also medium on this particular one and if we're going to take a look at this one from a, a quality perspective this is nicely balanced, the aromas um, are honey toasted nuts, it's fantastic, there's some fruit there and then there's fruit on the palate, it's quite nicely balanced actually, I was actually expecting a little bit more of the nuts on the palate but it was all honey and fruit for me. When it comes to the intensity of the aromas, yeah the intensity is pronounced on the nose and I'm getting plenty of that flavour on, on the palate, so it's nicely intense. I wouldn't necessarily say it's complex, and I do think it has a medium length. So overall, I would say that this particular wine was very good. There's so much to enjoy down here in this region. Not only the sunshine, uh, but the wines as well. And for me, Muscat of Alexandria is definitely something worth looking out if you're looking for a dessert wine, if you're looking for something a little bit different, it's definitely something that I would recommend. So for now, I will say cheers, dig out your sweet wines, enjoy them, enjoy the sunshine, I'll see you soon, I'm the Grape Explorer, cheers.